What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we got to talk about what happened on Monday Night Raw tonight. After a crazy weekend for WWE and the backlash they have received from essentially, maybe, potentially, The Rock taking Cody's spot in the main event of this year's WrestleMania between The Rock and Roman Reigns instead of it being Cody and Roman Reigns. The backlash has been seen and heard. They even talked about it. Michael Cole on commentary. You heard the Cody chants. You heard the We Want Cody chants. You saw the Cody sign. Someone was passing out. Hashtag We Want Cody. It was acknowledged. WWE definitely heard and saw a lot of the comments and people's opinions on this whole wanting cody to finish the story right <laughs> so we start off the show with seth rollins seth rollins comes out there gets a, a very good ovation from the crowd they're singing his song um when he gets in the ring i like what he said at the beginning where he said you know the crowd's still chanting his song or whatnot and he was like well there's a pop and then the crowd starts cheering you know cheering for him and he was like there's another pop. So that was a little jab at Roman Reigns comment saying uh, at the beginning of his promo on Friday that Seth Rollins doesn't get a pop. Well, clearly there was a pop. Crowd did acknowledge and, and recognize him. And uh, it was it was cool. I was hoping Seth was going to say more. That's really what I wanted. I, I wanted Seth Rollins to say more. Give give more of his opinion and feedback on what uh roman reigns had said on saturday on friday because he essentially disrespected seth rollins and his championship reign so i, I would it would have been kind would have been cool if he could have addressed more of the roman reigns situation but he kind of got straight to the point he said look well, i'm not gonna bs bs anybody out here we want to know what's going on we need your answer now cody get on out here soon as cody came out there crowd went insane very huge reaction for him everybody's chanting cody's name he got to the ring everyone's going crazy we want cody chance and whatnot and here's where things got very interesting tonight i believe they were in st louis they showed out tonight the st louis crowd definitely showed out tonight they stood on business because before they could even, Seth Rollins and Cody, before they can even get into it, you heard the Rocky Sub chants, and they were loud, very loud. And even Seth on, on, on the microphone said, I'm not going to lie to you, I was very surprised by that, y'all. The Rocky Sucks chants was loud. So maybe this backlash is more than just the internet wrestling community. Because it wasn't just the small people that were saying Rocky sucks. And they kept the chant going on throughout the night. Anytime The Rock was shown on screen, they were booing. They were booing. So, basically, Seth is out. Hey, what you, what you, who are you going to choose? What, enough of this back and forth. What's going to happen? And before Cody can answer that, here comes Drew. And, boy, Drew has been doing some of his best best heel work that i've seen from him in my opinion like this has been really really good what they've been having drew do and the one thing i love about drew's character he is a heel but he acts like he's doing the right thing he acts like a baby face and that's what makes his character so good he's a heel that believes he's doing the right thing and for the right reasons and those are sometimes the best heels because they really do believe they're doing the right thing and it's, they're doing the good cause. But really, they're being <laughs> selfish and an asshole. And I love that about Drew. He really believes he's the good guy here. And some of the points he made, it's hard to argue with. Drew comes out there, he's like, look, man, guys, how are you guys messing this up? He's actually kind of speaking from the perspective of an online wrestling fan, to be honest with you, which I like what he was doing here he really was he was like guys how are you messing this up i gave us the alley-oop i beat up cm punk 
I took him out. I got rid of him. I got rid of the cancer. Seth, we know you didn't like him, you know, and he, he kind of, you know, Seth's like, yeah, I, yeah, you're right. Seth, we know you didn't like him, you know, like I, I put him on the shelf for everybody. Like, and <laughs> this is why I say he's like part of the wrestling online community because he opens up his jacket and you see the meme, but now they've turned it into a t-shirt of Drew sitting next to a tombstone with the, his thumbs up and on the tombstone it says rest in peace uh, CM Punk's <laughs> Wrestlemania uh, story like the same thing similar to the same thing that was he posted on Twitter they made it into a shirt mocking CM Punk and he bro crowd got it they popped for that and that shit was so hilarious such a menace and he um he even told Seth, hey, I got it for you in an extra small. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, okay here. Like he he's he's having a good time here. But he was like, I mean, I, I I made things easier for us. And you know, now I get to go ahead and main event WrestleMania, uh, you know, against you, face you at WrestleMania. You know, he's talking to Seth, and Seth's like, what? Where where did when did I say that? And then he started talking to Cody. And then you need to go face Roman and finish the bloody story. Finish your story. You know, finish what you've, you know, you've been working for. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, we've all had issues with Roman Reigns. And he even took a jab at Roman Reigns. He was like, if you want to be honest, nobody even wants to fight Roman Reigns because we all know he, one of his family members is going to get involved and he's going to cheat anyway. So finish your story. What are you doing? And I don't, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I think your father will want you to finish the story as well. You know, all, you know how people bring up his father and stuff like that. So then he, uh, he turns back to Seth and he tells Seth, He's like, look, man, I don't know if you're feeling insecure or whatnot, but, you know, I'll be the first to tell you that you don't need Roman Reigns validation. That championship is the workhorse championship. The one you're wearing right now is the workhorse championship, you know? So he, he, he it's one of those things where it's like a backhanded comment. Like, I don't know if you're insecure about it, but that's the workhorse championship. We all know this. And I like what Seth said. He's like, wait, wait, wait. Before we even get to all of that, what are you, what are you talking about? Like, we gonna, you gonna wrestle me at WrestleMania? Like, I've already beaten you multiple times, and you've lost. And then I like what Drew said. He's like, well, if you want to go that route, Cody's beaten you three times, and you've lost. <laughs> Cody's beaten you three times already and you lost so it's not gonna make sense for you to fight him either and he's like look man like you've done enough you you've you racked your body to where it is now you know but now it's time for you to step aside and let me take over and then proceeds to headbutt him i'm paraphrasing there but proceeds to headbutt him attack him <laughs> and then cody ends up attacking him trying to help out seth and then drew's just standing there just looking maniacal and i love it I love it. And it even plays into, at the end of the show, we got a match with uh, Cody and uh, Shinsuke Nakamura, Shins uh, Shinsuke, in a bull rope match. We obviously knew that Cody was, was going to win. He ended up winning. And then at the end, as he's celebrating, Drew comes out there and attacks him and uh, packs him up. And he's standing tall over him. So I am afraid that this is going to be a triple threat match for the World Heavyweight Championship. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it's not. I'm hoping that it's not. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, we're, we're, we're going to keep our fingers crossed that it's not a triple threat, but it's seeming like it may. It's, it's shaping up to be for the World, World Heavyweight Championship. Please, please, please no. But I will say this. The crowd throughout the night were definitely chanting Rocky Sucks, and at one point they were muting the Rocky Sucks chant. I actually have video footage someone sent to me of the crowd during the main event with uh, Shinsuke and Cody, and they're they're fighting, and you hear clearly Rocky sucks chance. But if you watch when you watch it on TV, you didn't really hear it like that. They muted it, 
So they were okay with it at the beginning of the show, but they didn't want the fans taking over it and taking over the, sh the entire show being seen on television. So I will say this. It seems like the, the, the fans' voices are translating to television. The question is, will that continue? That's the real question. We will see. But tonight in St. Louis, you guys, y'all let it be known. Y'all not rocking with um, The Rock being in the main event. Hell, even when, and I forgot to mention this, even when Cody was thinking about, well, when Seth was asking Cody uh, to choose him to face him at Mania, the crowd was booing. Last week, they weren't booing like that when Seth, uh, you know, had that proposition for Cody. This week, no, they were booing loudly. They did not want Cody to um, face Seth Rollins. And then I also got to mention, and let me actually try to pull this up for you guys. Hold on. I'm going to try to pull this up for you guys live because if you didn't see this, Cody had a very interesting tweet. And he tweeted this. After the first segment of the show, after his segment with Drew and um, Seth Rollins, Cody actually uh, tweeted this. Let me let me go to his Twitter real quick, and then I'm going to show you guys this actual tweet, which is very interesting and may be telling of what well, well, we don't really know what it's telling, to be honest with you. Let me pull this up. Here's the tweet right here. It says, appreciate the passion. God bless y'all, but trust me, we don't know what that means. We have no idea what that means. So, I don't know. It's very, he left it very vague. We may find out this Thursday for the WrestleMania uh, press conference. Um, so, we're going to be doing a live streaming app. So, we'll see how things play out. But overall, this was a middle of the road raw. Um, it had some good stuff, but the highlights of the show was at the beginning of the show that opening segment was pretty good and the, uh, that opening uh uh tag team match uh i think it was like four teams to see who was gonna be the number one contenders or whatnot that was actually pretty good the, the four teams they had in there so yeah overall this was a, a middle of the road show we didn't really get too much and uh questions answered we'll see how things play out for thursday i think they're waiting for thursday to really ramp up What's going to happen for this year's WrestleMania? So comment down below. Let me know, man. Did you guys enjoy Monday Night Raw? Also, um, did you guys enjoy that opening segment of the show? I thought it was it was okay. They're still teasing us. And, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see how things play out. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. And I'm still young. Speed of YouTube Wrestling Champion of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.